Welcome back to the Jimmy Dojo channel and in today's video it's another episode of Eze's Eleven. I know it's taken its time to get to this but it's another episode. I believe it's episode 4 or 5 now and in this episode we are opening up the Blaster Box which is very very exciting which contains the guaranteed Declan Rice Limited Edition, a Signature Limited Edition and two Golden Baller cards. So if you're excited to see what this team looks like by the end of this video then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any future uploads yeah without further ado let's open up a blaster box and add to Eze's 11. So if you're unfamiliar with how this series works, we basically open a range of products from the Adrenaline XL 2024 collection and build a team surrounding Eze Golden Baller, who is obviously already in the team on the left wing. It's been a long time since we did an episode of this, so apologies about that, but this is the team so far. In goal, we've got Allison at right back, Kyle Walker. Our centre-backs are Van Dijk and Saliba. At left back, we have got Luke Shaw. Uh, the midfield three is Enzo Fernandez, Yaya Torre, signature legend, and a Martin Odegaard limited edition. And our front three is is Salah, Haaland, Golden Baller, and Eze, Golden Baller, of course. So it's a very, very solid team. And we're looking like we're going to add some epic cards in this video as well. As I said, two Golden Ballers, a signature limited edition. And it, of course, contains the Declan Rice limited edition card in there as well. I think we're going to have to put Declan Rice in this team, you know. Anyway, let's open it up. Then remember, this retails for £25. Uh, we did a more in-depth opening of this on the channel recently, so do check that out in the top right of your screen now. And if you are looking to pick up some single cards from this collection, do check out Football Cards Direct. They've got millions of single cards in there from not just this collection, but previous collections as well. Uh, link in the description. Right, we've finally got the uh, the top open there. Uh, so we've got our double golden baller pack, which is very exciting. I'm hoping we can add some epic golden ballers to this team here uh, then we got our signature limited edition in here as well and then of course we've got our Declan Rice limited edition Ooh, I'm gonna leave that to the end because I'm, I'm still trying to think do we want Declan Rice in this do we potentially put free at the back take out Luke Shaw and put Declan Rice in midfield could be done. But in the meantime, we have got lots of packs of cards to open, as well as an on online coin card. 650 coins. There we go. You're welcome uh, to whoever redeems that first. Uh, but yeah, here are the packs we've got to open. Let's see if we can add some epic cards to the team. It's going to be difficult because this team is very, very strong as it is. But I'm thinking, you know, Declan Rice in midfield with these three. Take out Luke Shaw. What do you reckon in the comments section? I mean, it's going to be too late by the time we do this. Uh, but there's Tawa Awanyi. Van Dijk, who, of course, is already in the team. Hello there. Is that four insert cards? As many as four? Surely not. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, that's weird. Anyway, Antonio Ariel Ace. Top keeper Leno. Uh, Garnacho and Tomiyasu, uh, Tomiyasu, should I say. So, yeah, for some reason, these two are turned over. Uh, but, yeah, not a great start. As I said, it's going to be very difficult to add players into this team now because it is looking very, very, very strong. Uh, so, let's see what we've got in this one. We've got Neko Williams, Ezri Konsa, Ollie Watkins. Not a bad option, to be fair. He's on fire. Uh, Adam Webster in there as well. We've then got a playmaker, Raheem Sterling and Garnacho, future star. Unfortunately, none of them make the team either. I'm, I'm trying to think who goes in this team. Maybe a different left back instead of Luke Shaw. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure on Luke Shaw, pardon the pun. We've got Bobby Deckard over Reed there, Joel Veltman. And looks like we've got four cards overturned again. We've got Ahmed Odzic, uh, Lewis Dunk Powerhouse, Luke Freeman, and Raul Jimenez, obviously now at Fulham. Uh, yeah, so none of them safely don't get into the team. The next pack, come on, give us something we want to write home about. We've got Ben Davies, Ryan Christie, and again, four cards overturned. Man United's badge, cha uh, game changer Leandro Trossard. Very good player, but not quite what we're after in this team. Uh, Emerson Royal and Julio Enciso. Good player, but he doesn't get in ahead of what we've already got, I'm afraid. Right, next up, what have we got in here? We've got a Reese Burke, uh, Badia Shiel, uh, Adebayo, Jose Sarr. And then our inserts, Isinchenko and Mateus Nunes for Wolves. Interesting. He's obviously now at Man City. I'm trying to think, actually. I think Zinchenko probably gets in ahead of Luke Shaw. And you know what? It's going to happen. And I think we have, uh, we've done a full loop. Because I'm pretty sure we started off with Zinchenko at left back or uh, Andy Robertson. We've now gone back to Alexander Zinchenko. The good thing about him is, though, he's very versatile. He can play in midfield as well. So that works very nicely if we do decide to go for a free at the back formation. Uh, we've got Nayef Aguerd here. Dominic Salah. 
Solanke. And then we have got the Crystal Palace badge. Uh, Perisic, Coutinho and Conor Gallagher having a very good season to be fair uh, as Chelsea captain uh, but he doesn't get in ahead of his teammate uh, Enzo Fernandez, I don't think uh, come on next pack we've got a Azpilicueta uh, Malasia again four cards overturned uh, Jorginho playmaker powerhouse Adebayo Garner Gay and Stefan Bajetic none of them get in I don't think but yeah let us know down in the comment section would you have added any of the players we've packed so far into this team do let us know we've got a bit of Luke Shaw there, Oli McBurney, and then we have got a Pierre Emil Hoybier, uh, Colossus card, very nice card, but not what we want to see. Next level Van Dyke, that's a nice one actually because we can upgrade the Van Dyke we've got in there already. There we go. Fun fact, this is the one with the highest defensive stats in the whole collection, minus of course the Golden Ballers. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice one. Van Dyke next level goes into the team, replacing his base card. Uh, then the Newcastle lineup and Nunez base card there as well. Fantastic. So this team is looking very nice and shiny now as well. What we need is a Mo Salah hot shot to replace that one. I'm not sure if Carl Walker has any special cards. I don't think Saliba does either. Allison, Surely allison has got a special card. Surely. Or am I going mental? Anyway, let's carry on. We've got uh, Jordan Ayew, uh, Joe Worrell. And then we have got Hotshot Carlton Morris, Paulinha, uh, Zinchenko, and Ryan Yates, of course. Uh, Zinchenko we've already got in this team uh, in his ice form, uh, which is the best form you can get of Zinchenko in this team, I'm pretty sure, in this collection, should I say. Uh, Neil Mope, obviously now back at Brentford. Uh, Scarpa. Uh, we've then got the Bournemouth badge. Game changers are Rory, Pedence, and Fabian Scher. Yeah, this is, uh, this is proving to be a challenge to add players to this team. Uh, we've got Diego Carlos, uh, Mitrovic, Allison, obviously already in the team, Bubakar Kamara, and who have we got here? We've got Leon Bailey, not a bad player to be fair, Ultrasonic, and top keeper Neto, but let's be honest, this front three, I don't think it's going to change for the rest of the series. Uh, Salah, Haaland, and of course Eze has to be in this team. Um, so yeah, I don't think much change will happen there. We've got Purvis Estupinian, now this is an interesting one as well, because he can play left back, and I was thinking about putting him into this team a couple of weeks ago. We'll keep Zinchenko for now, but Purvis Estupinian, very good option. Then have got Tom Lockyer, Ooh, Man City goalkeeper. This could get interesting. Uh, we've got the uh, Everton badge, Dwight McNeil, uh, Evan Ferguson, and Edison. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep Allison in, but if we do eventually do a subs bench for this series, then, for example, these two probably get on the subs bench for me because they're both fantastic players. Allison and Edison, let us know down in the comment section which ones you prefer. Do you prefer, uh, well, obviously, both of the same nationality as well, aren't they? Uh, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, Tariq Lamptey there for Brighton. We've then got Ryan Sessignon. And then we have got Goodmanson, World Class, the Newcastle lineup, Chuk Wemeka and Eric Dyer. Yeah, that was uh, pretty dire, that pack, pardon the pun. Who we got here? We've got Kepa, Ariza Balaga, Tilo Kerrer, Chris Richards, Corley Woodrow. And then we have got Ice, Thiago Silva, and game changer, Damari Gray. Yeah, we'll skip past that. Right, we've got our final regular pack of the video here. As I said... It was always going to be difficult to add players into this team. But remember, we've still got the two golden baller pack to open up. Uh, so we've got Philip Billing, uh, Diogo Dalot. Come on, give us something incredible as one of these insert cards. There's Mo Salah again and Christopher Ayer. Come on, give us something crazy. Oh, playmaker Bruno Fernandes. That is a very, very interesting one there. Bruno Fernandes playmaker. Wow, okay. Who was under that? Diogo Carlos as well. Powerhouse isn't a bad option at all. We're not going to put him in though, because I think Saliba and Van Dijk, you can't get much better than that in the Premier League. Bruno Fernandes, on the other hand, is a very tempting option here. But then I've got to think about the fact we've got Declan Rice, who I think Declan Rice needs to be in this team as well. I kind of want four in midfield here, so we might have to get rid of one of the defenders here. But I don't think Carl Walker can play. No, Carl Walker can't play centre-back, but he, he plays centre-back in real life sometimes, so that's that's a bit of a strange one, that, isn't it? Do I just go for it and do three at the back with Walker, Van Dijk and Saliba as like a centre-back trio there? And do we put Bruno Fernandes in the midfield, take Zinchenko out of the team? He's only just been in there... But do we do that? A 3-4-3 three, three 
And I'm thinking I am going to put Declan Rice into this team as well. Probably instead of Enzo Fernandez. I think that's what we're going to do here. So Zinchenko is going to come out. This is going to be controversial for a lot of people. I'm no doubt about it. No one's ever going to be happy with this series because it all is all down to personal opinion at the end of the day. Uh, Bruno Fernandez comes into the team. We're more than likely going to add Declan Rice in this team instead of Enzo Fernandez Colossus. So, yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's open up the Declan Rice uh, pack. And add him in. Because I think then we've got a pretty solid team. There it is. The Declan Rice limited edition card. He goes in instead of Enzo Fernandez Colossus. Uh, so let's put him there. So we've got two defensive sort of minded midfielders there in Rice and Yaya Torre. But can of course get forward and score some cracking goals for their respective teams. We've then got two more attacking players in Bruno Fernandez and Martin Odegaard. So think of it as sort of like um, sort of like a central diamond in the midfield here. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of unhappy Chelsea fans in the comment section. But I think that is more than fair um, for you to get annoyed and for me to be struggling here. Because this is a tricky team builder. But let's see what our signature limited edition going to be as well come on give us a legend who gets into this team uh let's see what teams are going to be is that oh 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 my word eric Cantona, legend wow that's a big one that is a very very nice one eric Cantona. oh my word where can we play him he's a forward oh wow okay eric Cantona, legend surely he gets into this team surely he gets into this team. Let's have a look at where he predominantly played for Manchester United. Yeah, so I'm looking online and it's saying Cantona's main position was the second striker uh, slash centre forward or attacking midfield. He's obviously been given a forward card here. Uh, I mean, we, <laughs> Eze has to be in this team. That's the fact of the matter. This is Eze's 11 at the end of the day. Um, wow. This is a tricky decision as well, isn't it? Eric Cantona... Signature Legend Limited Edition. Right, what we're going to do, Bruno Fernandes comes out and we are putting Eric Cantona in as an attacking midfield with Martin Odegaard. That's a pretty good team, isn't it? And we've still got a double golden baller pack to open up as well. This is pretty nuts, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, yeah, what a team. Right, let's see what golden ballers we've got. If one of these is Saka, remember, we have completed our collection. Well, we're starting off with um, Cody Gakpo because I saw the Netherlands flag. But there we go, Cody Gakpo. I mean, he's good. He can play where Salah plays. But I think we're going to keep Salah in for now. And then our second golden baller is going to be... Alexander Isak. It's another good golden baller, but I don't think they get into against what we've already got. Wow, two very nice golden ballers though, absolutely. Alexander Isak and Cody Gakpo there uh, for Newcastle and uh, Liverpool respectively. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're getting ahead of what we've already got. Salah, Haaland, Eze, I don't think it's going to change for the rest of the series. That midfield is very, very nice and solid as well. And that back three speaks for itself. That's crazy. Two golden ballers. Both missing out on this team. Uh, but this was probably the trickiest episode of the lot. And this is the team after opening a full blaster box. We've got Allison in goal. We've then got Carl Walker, Van Dyke, and William Saliba as a back three. Uh, we've then got uh, Declan Rice and Yaya Torre as two defensive midfielders there. And Cantona and Martin Odegaard as more attacking midfielders. And then we've got a front three of Mo Salah, Erling Haaland, and Abire Eze, of course because this is the series all around as a golden baller, so he has to be in this team. But yeah, let us know what you would have done differently down in the comment section, if anything. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to absolutely smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and of course, hit the notification bell next subscribe button, that way you'll never miss a future upload which goes live to the channel. Thanks again for watching, I really do appreciate the incredible support recently, it's been absolutely fantastic. And yeah, make sure to check out Football Cards Direct, link in the description if you want single cards to add to your set. But yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.